Hi folks, Dr. Miller with you again. In this video lecture, we look at one of the, arguably one of the more important concepts in uh, modern finance called time value of money. It's such an important overarching concept. I use this in my financial planning practice. We see this in every aspect of, of business and economic decision making. The time value of money affects every aspect of our lives, including our ability to save and invest has major life implications for us. Your, your perspective on this concept determines whether you save and invest for the future or whether you consume everything now. The time value of money argues that a dollar in hand is worth more than a dollar in the future. And I would argue that that dollar in hand right now is worth one dollar of purchasing power, where that same dollar invested through time could be worth six to eight dollars of purchasing power in the future. Now, you can probably figure out the, the scope, magnitude, and implications of that difference. Uh, save and consume now, or invest for the future, and deny present consumption. So time value of money depends on perspective. Uh, many aspects of behavior, psychology, and so forth. Time value of money relates to your investment today in your CSU Global Education. Whether you know it or not, your, your being here is, is an active uh, aspiration of time value of money. And you think that investing your time today will produce greater value over time. Time value of money is ever present in our mortgage type of payments, our student loans. Time value of money is, is present in every aspect of purchasing an automobile. Uh, time value of money is we want more now and consume more now. So our time also, excuse me, <coughs> pardon me. I find that people that value, that understand this concept also value their time and the time of others. They show a profound respect for time and the value of time. Think about that. So here we try to learn and understand the meaning of present and future values, quantitatively speaking, that, that, that's important. We look at some, we can look at some videos that talk about Understand and calculate amortized loan scenarios. Understand how to use a financial function calculator, but begin to get a grasp of the, the profound importance of the time value of money and you having a perspective of it and appreciation of that. The time value of money is a timeless concept for investing and one of the, the backbone principles of finance. The basic concept concludes that as time changes, the value of purchasing power of money changes. As I said earlier, the written word is that a dollar received today has more purchasing power than the same dollar received 10 years from now. That's, that's, that's the common written wisdom, but I'm arguing that, that that's not true. That same dollar invested, uh, the invested in the stock market 10 years from now could be worth six to eight times the same dollar today. That's been my investing experience. So I believe in taking the time value of money concepts and basically rearranging them to understand that saving is investing and investing is power for the future. Here we see there's a table that shows over time from 1960 to 2010 uh, various inflation rates and how prices have gone how prices have gone up over time. The growth in this table, the growth in prices and incomes, it reflects a key concept of compounding, earning interest on previously earned interest. While my intention in this lecture series is not to get into specific numbers, but basically concepts, you need to understand and, and kind of run some of these numbers so that you have a good idea of what that means. Having a, a, what I call proportionality, understanding how these how the numbers basically work and how they stair step. For example, the 
the, 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 the time value of money formula, there's only four variables. FV for future value, P, PV for present value, R for, the number, R for the interest rate and for the time periods. Only four variables, given three, we can solve for the fourth one. And these variables lend themselves to being uh, well used in the computer. Uh, tables lend themselves to tables, interest rate tables. We see them used all the time. And then we used to have them on the slide rules when I was in engineering school. And here we have interesting and useful graphs. It shows how interest on the how earning interest on the interest accumulated each year. In addition to on the original purchase, it's called compounding. It also shows the flip side of compounding being called discounting, trying to find the present value. Easy to work with, and there's a useful video here. But again, I would try to sell you on the power of time value of money concepts and understanding how it works, for example, in your retirement account. <clears throat> Time value of money is used extensively in the mortgage area, amortized loans and interest rates. When we talk about the typical uses of time value of money calculations in terms of loan amortization. It can refer to paying off a student loan or paying off a car loan or, for example, paying off a mortgage. The idea of amortizing is that we start with the dollar value on a, on a loan balance, present value, and then make annual payments on the debt until it has a zero balance at the end of the period. Let's see some other concepts here. So as you've read through some of the chapters, you probably have noticed the uh, formulas for calculation of time value of money it can seem rather complex, but they lend themselves very well to calculators, especially Excel, in terms of it can solve any problem using Excel when you have the, the factors we spoke about. N for the number of periods or years. I represent the interest rate. PV or present value, FV or future value, and if we have a payment, it's, it's a PMT. So these variables plug very well and work extremely well in an Excel spreadsheet. And there's another uh, video here that you find you would find very useful. I hope you take the time to survey this this and look at this very carefully. Time value of money. And think of it selfishly. Think of it from your own perspective. Think of where you're at now in, in the school years. And think of that down the road you want to be able to replace your earning power through time. Uh, this ends on this part of our Mod Module 3 uh, video lecture. Thank you for your time and attendance.